wanted to you know uh, keep a few things um, uh, announced maybe i'll quickly introduce myself uh, i've been uh, in the industry for last uh, 16 years and uh, mostly consulting and uh, analytics and ai of late a bit on ai and deploying a few ai solutions with a few uh, large clients uh, that i work with um the the session i have today is very close to my heart and i've been kind of uh, speaking on this for for some time uh, since covid happened because i i i truly believe that uh, covid is going to uh, really change uh, uh, the way we learn the way we uh, you know conduct business and and in various other things in, in fact life will not be the same anymore uh, so hence what should be uh, be our strategy to to get ready for this post covid world right and what are the kind of you know uh, skills that we need to kind of uh, imbibe yeah um i i all, uh, truly believe in you know interaction and um, uh, and i want this uh, session to be as interactive as possible uh, and i did uh, visit your campuses i think i visited two of your campuses one in bangalore and one in uh, uh, which part of the uh, karnataka vishnu um you have visited uh, one in belgaum and one also in bangalore sir yes yes so so uh, very very uh, impressed with your faculty students and campus and your history per se so good to see about 200 you know participants uh, who are you know live and i see some you know raised hands will for sure you know interact and i'll keep about 15 minutes just on you know uh, question answer um, because I, i i believe that that is a very very a uh, fruitful exercise where you can ask questions and, and in whatever way i can i can answer if if not i will find some find the answers for you uh, i'm not saying that i will have answers to all questions but i will try and provide whatever i i have or at least try and you know come back to you with with the answers that i can get yeah um i and because it's an online platform i'm using a tool to kind of make it a little more interactive i'll share my screen um and uh, you can use this uh, in um, uh, hey, how do i share my how do i sir there is one uh, you are the co-host sir there is one share screen option when you click on below you can use that i know but i want to share one website okay but i don't see the screen share option uh oh yeah i got it i got it i got it okay so i'm using a site called mentimeter and i wanted to quickly check how it works um uh, and and uh, if you can go to menti.com m e n t i.com and you can use it from your mobile from your laptop anything and then use the code 210418 yeah and the question i asked is this is to just check i wanted to know where you are Uh, which city are you in today yeah so uh, i'll repeat so you have to go to the website called menti.com menti.com and use the code 210418 okay i see coimbatore i'll maybe put it in the chat as well maybe um vishnu can you put it in the chat the the name of the website and the code yes sir 210419 right sir yes and the I website is menti.com menti.com i have put it down sir okay great okay coimbatore bangalore can you see my screen i hope everyone can see my screen yeah just two participants two answers so far guys we should not take much time uh we have two in bangalore hyderabad okay okay quick pick six responses so far palakkad okay kerala so mostly from bangalore i see uh bel belgam belgam begusarai wow really begusarai hasan fun city what is that <laughs> okay um uh, bihar okay i never knew bihar 
we are get students from bihar as well so far very nice okay somebody said india of course we are all in india silcher right great i like the diversity in here okay okay manipur wow okay so good to see you know people from all over uh, the country i mean uh, from far to north northeast to east to down south uh, you know people joining great to see that okay that was just a test okay so good that uh, we are uh, we are able to use this platform now let me reset the results and let me ask something else what skills one second yeah, i don't uh, what skills are important uh for the industry today what is your understanding i don't know somebody is drawing as well maybe whoever is drawing can take that off yeah who is doing that somebody is having fun with the with the painter okay so uh, what so i wanted to really un get your understanding of what according to you are the skills which you need today and of course before we come to future let's understand today okay you saying web communication skills digital skills investment okay laborers i don't know what that meant uh, technical skills networking there is some one funny comment called nothing okay uh, money okay interesting uh quickly adapt okay uh, knowledge um, artificial intelligence okay okay it's fast so i'm not able to read um uh, reference okay big data communication i think i think what is standing out is that uh, communication uh, is is standing out according to you uh, technical is standing out as well okay absolutely i think i think uh, apart from a few uh, comments uh, i think all of them are, are on dot i think these are the you know skills required um let me Uh, stop sharing and maybe share my slide so um here is what i would kind of you know talk to you about yeah so i would uh, kind of you know talk about what's changing yeah because we are all in unprecedented times right so the very fact that we are in front of our computer laptop mobile um is because uh, we are in a, in a very very fluid and and ever changing uh, kind of situation right um, um um all the governments all the you know uh, people in authority are all trying to you know bring back normalcy but but um, uh, things are fluid and 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 we are all impacted right and 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 hence what is changing so we'll start with that Uh, how does it impact each of us right so that in the, that's the second uh, question we'll try and answers get answers for and finally what skills are um, uh, will become more important yeah i think i think uh, uh, that will uh, we will kind of you know try and cover that yeah so um, i see that there are few open hand, i mean there are some people who wants to ask questions maybe what we can do is um, in the last uh, 15 minutes Uh, we will uh, kind of you know take uh, uh, um, question answer session and we can kind of you know get into as many as much of you know live conversation as possible because i want to keep this as interactive uh, so that it's very very be beneficial for you yeah um now what's changing i think uh, uh, i think all of us are almost forced to um, get on to the digital Uh, bandwagon right so there is a whatsapp um, uh, forward or a joke which is floating around saying that who 
who is responsible for digital transformation in your organization is it your ceo cto uh, or uh, the industry or covid the answer is covid right so covid has forced each one of us as well as all the companies to get on to the digital bandwagon whether it is accepting money on digital platforms whether it is you know um, 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 buying um, groceries uh, using whatsapp in fact one of my um, uh, grocery store nearby is uh, uh, you know delivering goods by taking orders on whatsapp yeah i mean people are getting very creative uh, in the use of uh, digital technologies so uh, things are changing and everyone is kind of you know adopting the digital uh, platform and even though even if you you are not so comfortable with it yeah and i'm uh, giving an example of my father and my uh, father in law all are uh, i mean people uh, who are elderly uh, they are all forced to either connect with their loved ones on on digital platforms or even buy stuff on digital platforms and in the process also making mistakes but i've seen my relatives make a lot of mistakes with uh, with uh, cards and all that some of them very funny but uh, interesting so people are all uh, forced to learn right so we are all rearchitecting everyday interaction yeah the covid 19 has forced to find digital solutions in, in how we collaborate or stay engaged uh, i don't know whether you've heard uh, there are digital fitness i, I have attended uh, digital uh, fitness sessions right so there's a trainer on the other side on a video who's uh, showing me how to you know uh, do exercises or yoga or even a basic uh, gym and other activities music my son uh, uh, has learned uh, is learning um, a few music lessons even um, uh, some his school is uh, doing uh, lit, um, uh, acting and uh, theater sessions on the on on the videos right uh, so those are uh, the things that we uh, thought would never get into digital platforms are getting into digital platforms right so even companies uh, uh, the the biggest chains uh, of uh, gyms uh, in bangalore they're all on online now i mean because they can't open their uh, 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 gyms and they're all uh, uh, letting the participants use their services online yeah and we are also seeing a lot of digital events so uh, gone are the days when you would uh, have to be present in 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 physically in a in, in a event right whether it is a music festival whether it is even uh, uh, i don't know whether you noticed the bangalore literature festival happened online yeah um, the music festivals are happening online or even a lot of uh, digital and all these knowledge sharing uh, you know conferences are, are 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 getting delivered online all of us know about online shopping so i'm not kind of you know putting uh, more uh, focus there e sports i don't know whether you realize the recent cricket match which happened happened with no audience on the on the on the stands uh, the, the stadium is empty with with uh, you know people playing yeah whether it is uh, cricket tennis even uh, Uh, there are you know car races and others happening without audience being present uh, physically yeah uh, telemedicine um, in fact i would never uh, from now would go to an opd in a hospital uh, for small reasons i mean um, i'm i'm so comfortable you know uh, now i have already uh, consulted them a few times uh, on 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 video uh, most of the um, hospitals these days have a, a video consultation mode and i have used a few of them for myself and from from my family and i find to find it so so very convenient and comfortable yeah uh, of course only a few situations where you need to be physically present where the doctor has to kind of uh, examine you physically but most of the tests these days can be done at home i mean i am very pleasantly surprised that samsung if any of you have a samsung app it has a health app and it can also give you a most i mean almost accurate uh, spo2 level which is the oxygen level which an oximeter measures right a mobile phone which is in your hand giving you the oxygen level yeah of course you can test various other things which are already testable right and 
Uh, you can test your, uh, and there are devices at home which can test your blood pressure, basic uh, blood sugar levels. All that is anyway available at your home. So hence, telemedicine is something which will pick up big, big time. And uh, I, for one, uh, will not visit a, a physical OPD for a good amount of time unless I really have to, right? Education, I think all of us know, we are already on the online platform. My 10-year-old uh, son uh, has been uh, very comfortable. He's going, uh, he's using an online platform. He understands um, all these uh, your, uh, uh, platforms that we all use, whether, whether it is WebEx, uh, the current platform that we are using, or Teams. Uh, he knows much better than me, yeah? And it's just been a few months for him, yeah? So, so I think this is what is changing. I think we are all forced to kind of adopt the, you know, uh, the, um, the digital platform. Yeah. And what does it mean uh, for, for people, uh, process and technology? It means more contactless interfaces and interactions will happen, right? So fewer touch screens uh, will be there. More voice and machine uh, uh, vision interfaces. I mean, uh, I'm sure you would use your Alexa and, and Google Home and, and uh, you will see uh, uh, those kind of devices being used to control devices, right? Uh, contactless payments, I mean, that's always uh, uh, there and we've been using it quite a lot these days. A remote working uh, capability, yeah? I mean, all of us are studying at, from home. I am working from home. There are lakhs and lakhs of people who are working from home. And this will become a reality. I mean, there are a few of my neighbors who, who run big companies are saying that they will give away physical offices. They have, in fact, almost already given away about 50% of their, you know, physical, you know, office requirements. Yeah. But of course, those will have uh, have uh, repercussion in the in the property prices. But that's the change that we are all in, right? And and um, talking about uh, recruitment criteria, things that you should be worried about, right? Or concerned or, or interested to know that your ability to work remotely and comfortably, yeah, is becoming one of the recruitment criteria. If you are not comfortable, the, the chances, uh, I mean, if you are very comfortable working in this environment, you, you have a higher chance to, you know, get recruited in, in, in the new age companies, right? So that's the kind of an impact that I'm kind of, you know, talking about. And then what is, what are the kind of behaviors and evolved skills that is needed? I think first and foremost is adaptability. Yeah. I think uh, we are in this situation for a few months already, right? And most of us, including me, we have cribbed. Uh, we said that, oh my God, what is happening? I'm feeling really demotivated. I don't know how to cope with this situation. But these are the times when you should adapt, quickly adapt and say, okay, this is the new normal. Yeah. And quickly adapt to this situation, whether it is getting comfortable talking to a laptop, where of course it's not that, you know, I'm, I was born comfortable talking to a camera in a laptop, right? Uh, I, I'm used to, you know, talking face to face, but I need to adapt. If I don't adapt, I'll, I'll, I'll not uh, go ahead, right? So, so I think that will be one, one very, very critical behavior that we all should start imbibing, yeah, and accepting. First of all, is accepting that this is a change, yeah, and this is a change we don't have control over, and this is a situation where we need to adapt quickly. Do we, do we spend a lot of time cribbing about it? Do we, do we cry and feel sad and say that, oh my God, and, and, and really uh, uh, hope that things will become better tomorrow? No, it will not become better tomorrow, right? This is, we are in this for a long period, long haul. So let's, let's first of all, accept that, yeah? And adapt ourselves, right? Second is, I think, very, very important is empathy. I mean, all of us are going through very difficult times, right? And we should, we should have super empathy in each other's uh, you know, issues. Meaning, um, all of us have our families. We are in the home. We are taking these calls at your home, at, at this home. If my son walks in or something that I need to know, there's a, there's a cooker uh, CT which is going on and I need to go and quickly uh, uh, 
um, you know, uh, address that. In fact, in most of our calls, just the call which I had before this, there was one colleague whose cooker uh, was, I think, two, three CTs we could ourselves hear. Right? And we were telling, hey, you know what, why don't you go and, you know, uh, take care of your cooker and then come back. Yeah. Your, in, in the earlier days, I think this kind of empathy was not there. Right? You are expected to be, when you're working, you need to be here and your attention, you're not expected to do things, other things, right? But now, the, the very fact that we are in this situation, our empathy has to be really high, understand each other. We know that all of us are going uh, through troubled times. How do we support each other, understand each other, and not create more trouble for them in these interactions, right? And the third, and, and it is related, I mean, flowing from there, is relevance. I mean, how do we stay relevant, right, in today's time? Now, I could, um, I, I'll give my example, yeah? So, uh, um, I've been using online um, uh, platforms and online uh, of, uh, these calls and others for a long time, yeah? So, not that this is new to me. However, um, how do you collaborate? How do you how do you, um, uh, you know, uh, develop new skills, uh, uh, whether it is, you know, using that online um, collaborating tool. Yeah, I, I, I gave you that uh, details about um, uh, the uh, Mentimeter. And I was, I was looking for a tool which will, which will help me, you know, do more interactions. And uh, I found a tool, but it is not as, it is not as uh, intuitive as I would expect it to be. However, I had to kind of, you know, pick it up. I have to spend some time and, and see uh, the, do, uh, the, the advantages, disadvantages, and try to see how I kind of, you know, uh, quickly pick up those skills, right? And, and, and this is the time when, when, when you can, uh, you know, pick up uh, a lot of skills uh, because you're at home, you have some time. Um, earlier, you were spending time traveling and a lot of other things which you need not do now. And hence, can you kind of you know use this time to to uh, you know stay relevant? Yeah, pick up new skills which you would need to be to be relevant in these times. Yeah, so that's the uh, third point that I would want to make. Yeah. Uh, some details I think I would have covered most of it, but adapt to the uh, new quickly without bias. Yeah, because it's new situations and without bias. I think uh, uh, bias uh, as humans comes naturally. Yeah. And and we all would 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 not want to you know change. We are all, in fact, as humans, uh, we are all uh, not quick to change. Huh? I mean, we are like to be in the current state a lot, right? Whenever we were, uh, just think about the first online class that you had. You always would have, I'm sure, would have cribbed. Yeah, I'm not listening to whatever he's saying. I don't know. I can't. First of all, you know, I have to ask a hundred times whether I'm audible, whether you can see my screen or not. All these uh, useless things I have to ask. Now, now, so I, of course, uh, I'm not. I'm not uh, taking myself out from that. I also thought the, exactly the same thing, right? But can we keep these biases out? Can we kind of adapt quickly? Yeah. Approach to the exploring and adapting to the new. Uh, sh uh, and I mean, you should do this even post COVID, right? So that that's very critical. Self discipline will be the key, right? Here, when you are at home, when you are working from home, there's nobody to watch over you, right? Uh, there's nobody taking, um, uh, keeping a uh, tab whether you know you are doing this, you are doing that, are you doing the right thing? Yeah. So hence, self discipline uh, is becoming more critical. So you can, you know, take a break and do things which are, which is normal. But if you, if you, uh, uh, um, lacks only you have to be blamed and you will get impacted. No one else. It's not that the teacher or the administrator or your, your other colleague will be impacted because you are laxing. You will be the person who, who will, who will get impacted. Right. Yeah. So, so life will change. Yeah. I mean, we are used to a three stage model, right? Like we get into a school, we pass out, get into college, again, pass out, get into work, and then we retire, right? That's where, that's how it was uh, uh, till, till some time back. But think of a multi-stage model where education, exploration, employment, self-employment, retirement, uh, and portfolio of paid, unpaid work will be a continuum. It is not that you will only 
uh, educate till you start working nowadays you need to educate more even after work if you think if you are in a in a mental state where you are thinking that you know okay you know i'm getting my first job and after that thank god my books i can still throw away and i can you know i i can uh, uh, just have fun please reset your expectations uh, you are expected to learn till your last day full stop yeah and 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 the very the three stage model will not be relevant you will you will be uh, be be open to harsh realities we will uh, and it is i'm i'm talking to myself as well yeah there will be self employment maybe things that i want to do with myself yeah i might want to take some retirement or come back to work or uh, i want to take up some paid work unpaid work i might get uh, fired i have to be ready with because things are very fluid in the whole environment right so how do i how do i uh, keep myself open for for this new reality and education will be all through uh, and work will be much longer yeah so it's not that you know, after maybe 65 70 oh i can throw away everything and you know, relax and you know be uh, have a nice you know retired life you are in for a long haul period yeah and then of course uh, you can you, you can choose to retire maybe now for some so few years and have fun and then come back again empathy yeah changes come swiftly and everyone is trying to make sense yeah and in such a scenario you need to rise above the self empathize with others um customer centricity is i think yeah maybe I'll, i forgot to connect this about empathy with customer centricity um uh, so so uh, in these times the companies who are empathetic to their customers will survive right and and there are i don't know whether i'm uh, i'm sure most of you do a lot of online purchases right how many of you are able to purchase and and get delivery on time i personally am very very unhappy with these online uh, you know shopping uh, portals right however there are others and i'm giving you an example of uh, a, a milk delivery company which delivers milk to us again an online one during the first lockdown initial days their platform was not working because they were not geared up for such a, such a traffic right the local guy who was delivering he said sir don't worry you just message me on whatsapp what how much milk you need i also can't i will not know how much you need because my portal is not working but don't worry about that you message me how much milk you need on a daily basis i will ensure you get it yeah although he because of, of obvious uh, logistical issues he didn't have the right number of people and so on and so forth he was delivering it a little late but i was still getting the most essential commodity for anyone on a daily basis right yeah and the customer centricity was phenomenal right i think i think that will and in fact if you see um, uh, some i was looking up uh, the case studies for japan it looks like that Uh, uh although their you know profit i mean the revenue and all that got impacted the profitability have not their their leaders um, um the ceos and others when they were in trouble they themselves went to deliver products it seems yeah think of the ownership think of the customer centricity which ceo of a company have you seen uh, going and delivering uh, you know food products to their customers homes yeah and that talks a lot about how you become super empathetic uh, understanding the current situation which we are all in right yeah and in these tough times you survive and thrive on the power of your relationship i think um, uh, uh, there were never a bigger most important time when relationship was very very important yeah and this is the time relevance i think i would um, make it very simple saying that you know you have to keep a pace you have to be relevant pick up new skills otherwise you will be sidelined very quickly yeah whenever uh, a new skill you learn find up avenues to apply so whenever uh, you are you are learning some things don't just learn and forget about it there are a lot of open source platform which will help you test this you know um, um, and all that and here you know um, I, I, I maybe one one question i wanted to ask on on the platform Uh, let me reset.
how many courses have you taken during this covid times i don't know whether you can see my screen can you and the code remain the same ah huh? 210418 how many courses have you taken during this time so get okay, 20 wow uh, i know about one participant in this call who will beat you uh, in this game ah huh? 5 to 6 okay 25 5 to 6 okay quickly 15 wow more than 20 okay there's a competition going on let me see who gets the award i know who will get the award but i want to <laughs> check with everyone 9 5 2 2 to 3 more than 20 5 to 6 13 15 15 okay any more i think the average is coming to about 10 i think that's a good thing about word cloud it will kind of create an average for you just put one number ah huh? that way we have an average if you want to edit you can quickly there is only 15 participant 15 number more than 30 wow so i know somebody has competition okay anybody else 18 people i think i have seen 223 people on the call so i do i assume that uh, 200 odd people have not taken any, any courses even one just type one i mean one number ah huh? single or double triple to i i would assume no okay 18 so let me kind of uh, okay who's 30 more than 30 can you speak up please guys can you hear me who is more than 30 can you speak up guys okay maybe i'll uh, give away the surprise so uh, i don't know how many of you know that vishnu here has how many certifications vishnu if i'm not right more than 50 right 52 you mentioned last time vishnu are you there okay am i speaking can you guys hear me Yes, are we able to hear you? Okay, Vishnu, are you there? Okay, maybe uh, he is on mute. So Vishnu has taken about more than fifty-two uh, certifications uh, during this COVID time, and that's phenomenal, according to me. Yeah. So coming back, um, yeah. So uh, not only should you be uh, training on technology uh, areas, but also you know things which. I get you more creative i think that's also very critical uh, there are a few skills which will become important and of course uh, this slide i can share and some of this are are self explanatory uh, we can go through them them um, and, and there are some you know must have tech skills you know when for i will go through an excel which will kind of you know give you a good sense of what is required uh, but this is like a summary of them um, uh, i i wanted to uh, let me know if you can see my excel yeah in fact i can share this as well it has all the links it is it will tell you who is offering it and and all that some of it as it is free but some of it as also paid uh, but but i would say it is really, really worth it yeah so think about this must have yeah i'm just trying to you know um uh, select must have and and go from bottom you know uh, python for data science i would i would really strongly recommend that you kind of you know take this course yeah ai engineering professional certificate it's again given by um, uh, coursera and ibm yeah very very effective it's some of them are a little long term eight months and uh, and all that the first one is uh, 22 hours the python one but there are a few which are eight months six months three months and all that so so i would strongly recommend that you kind of you know go through and these are according to me must have tech skills which will you know keep you relevant uh, in today's time right uh then uh, multi platform mobile app development and again uh, those of you who are uh, getting into uh, you know mobile apps and all that this is uh, very very critical 
data visualization data science is another important skills and i've kind of called out uh, where you can get it from and all that uh, cloud computing um, and, and and a few other things and uh, augmented reality is another new area uh, where huge opportunities are there and i would strongly recommend you guys to kind of take a few courses to get uh, good at it and of course blockchain uh, related to it and then there are some uh, good to have uh, courses as well which are little with little uh, complex and, and maybe once you finish the must have you can kind of uh, uh, go and um, you know attack the good good to have ones uh, these are uh, mostly uh, you know advanced uh, artificial intelligence kind of courses in the areas of reinforcement learning um, computer vision emotional ai uh, you know uh, introduction to quantum computing Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and and finally, if people who are interested in fintech, there is also a detailed, uh, very detailed fintech course, uh, uh, which you can kind of you know uh, get into. Yeah, uh, I have some links here. I can also share the Excel with you, so uh, it's good for you. So. Um, but with that, I, I, I want to end and uh, I've, I've told you that I would keep 15 minutes for discussion and hence I'm, I'm a little um, uh, cognizant of the time. Uh, this is my last slide where, you know, I'm kind of talking about, you know, it's okay about picking up some advanced skills. It's okay about, you know, uh, doing, uh, um, uh, getting a little more technical and all that. But however, there are these few basic traits for which you don't need intelligence, you don't need to be smart, you don't need to spend a lot of money uh, with a lot of institutions and, and courses of the world. These are like the basic tenets, like, you know, being on time. Yeah, that's an attitude. Yeah, and, and, and uh, trust me in, uh, in your, to get your first job or to get promoted or to, to be considered trustworthy. These are all, uh, you know, basic leadership and behavioral traits which will stand you in really good yeah being on time having a good work ethic putting the right effort yeah which is you know doing hard work body language yeah where you are uh, you know showing that you're interested you know showing that you're attentive you know those kind of things energy yeah you cannot delegate energy right you should kind of bring your energy on the table yeah uh, so that you you care that you 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 are concerned you 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 matter yeah uh, getting the right attitude, passion, and then being coachable. Yeah, I think these are the times when you have to say that you know you can pick up any skill. Yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, try and try and pick up a new skill. In fact, way back I did try because I was very bad at photography. I said, let me kind of get a, get into a photography course. Yeah, uh, and that's important. And and the um, testing sometimes and getting learning about new things will will uh, hold you in good good light. Yeah, doing extra being prepared like for example i'm delivering this session i spent some time preparing for it yeah and and don't take anything um, lightly so to so give your time prepare well in advance i think all of that will hold you in, in good light yeah with that i wanted to kind of you know uh, uh, stop and then maybe you know open up uh, for uh, questions i think there are some open uh, i think there are some hands which have gone up Maybe we'll we'll give them a chance to you know ask questions. Yes, please. Open to all of you. Yes, please. Who wants to come? Chanaka, you want to coordinate this? I think there are a few. Uh, yes, sir. I'll coordinate, sir. So before that, sir, I want to thank you for a really wonderful talk, sir. Uh, now the session is open for question and answers. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the chat box. No, you can also open your um, unmute yourself and you can ask. Okay, sir. Let them unmute. Sir. Yeah, Ernest, you can, you can. Yes, sir. Participants have the authority to unmute themselves now. Okay. Guys, go ahead and unmute and, and, and please. Uh, um, I think this session is. Uh, very important so that you kind of are able to ask any question and it could not it may not be related to this topic or uh, things that is troubling you things you are not aware of uh, you wonder if you could get some help whatever please feel free to ask Yeah. 
Yeah. Is there anyone who wants to ask questions? Hello. Sir, I wanted to ask a question. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Go ahead. Sir, I'm Nagendra. I just finished my uh, MSc Physics. So, after getting my uh, degree, this uh, COVID started. So, I'm currently unemployed. So, what would be your suggestions to me? Like, I'm looking for an educational field. So, what could I do best? Because no educational institution is currently uh, interviewing or taking any pressures. Hello. Uh, hi, Nagendra. Thanks for asking that question. Um, mm -hmm. I think I would look at it this way. So first, uh, it's it's not just you. Yeah, uh, I think a lot of people like you, as well as even people who have jobs. Uh, who who have got out of job right because of the situation yes also in the situation right so first mm -hmm. first is i mean as i said um, uh, adaptable i mean how do you kind of um, uh, understand the situation and and take power from it rather than uh, feel uh, feel sad or think that you know why has it happened to me why i'm the only one no don't get into the negative uh, uh, you know thought process right <clears throat> that is first yes. yeah? because unless you control your mind unless you uh, get the positivity in you nothing will work yeah having said mm -hmm. that second is how do you really i mean pick up the skills that you always wanted to i mean these are the times when when uh, you can pick up a new skill and by the way if you are assuming that you need to spend a lot of money you need to spend a lot of resources to pick up skill you're wrong yeah there are a lot of courses especially during these times which are available free yeah there are a mm. lot of platforms which are providing top class courses for the top class universities and others which are available yeah maybe even for a very very small price because they want to cover for the for the for the for the basic infrastructure right so i would uh, really request you to you know not tell pick up pick up those skills um, and then plan for it and also have a, uh, you muted me also okay so uh, <clears throat> so i would say that create a roadmap yeah in your excel say that month number 1 say this month what all will you do month number 2 what all will you do and not only that courses and just listening to people or uh, taking webinars but get into some doing as well right if you are learning for example um, web designing or if you're, if you're learning maybe mobile app development or maybe some machine learning yeah apply it why don't you create a website why don't you take a lot of data which is out there and do some number crunching if not nothing uh, take the covid data yeah uh, i don't know whether you know that your covid data is up available free everywhere right use them for analysis right and maybe publish it there are a lot of people who are doing that if you ask me and maybe by by level by district by by state, you can you have the data and maybe you can forecast. You can use some machine learning methods to to to, to do certain interesting um, um, uh, analysis, right? So that would be my my uh, two cents for you. I hope that works, Dagendra. Uh, we have a question from uh, Ernest Joseph, sir. Yes. Which is the best stream in IT for non-core uh, students? Uh, when you when you what do you mean by non core you yeah. mean I, non it yes yeah i would um, there's no specific stream i am from non it myself so i would say uh, first of all take this thing out of your mind that there are certain things which are rocket science huh? there are no rocket science even rocket science is not rocket science right i think take this out of your head that you know there are there is there is some staggered uh, level of understanding and intelligence and all that take that out of your mind first and 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 create a roadmap always yeah first of all uh, think about what you want to do and then look at 
what skills would you need for doing that and then work backwards and build them right that will be my recommendation in terms of fields i would say data science uh, is is a is a very upcoming field and it would it would not need uh, a, a lot of i mean it needs some it knowledge but maybe we even with statistics economics kind of background uh, also do very well in those uh, domain Ernest, I don't know whether I have answered your question. I hope that helps. Thanks. Okay. Anything uh, doing M Tech is better or MS? Oh, uh, I I mean for me as a as a recruiter, both are equally same for me. Yeah. Any other any other question? Any any other uh, questions that I can answer? Uh, that's it. Which is the best? Which is the best country to do MS in IT? <laughs> Why do you think about a country? Look at the institution. So I would say, uh, I mean, especially uh, if you're doing, you want to do it online, uh, you have a lot of good universities. In fact, the Excel that I'll share has a few of them already mentioned there. In fact, uh, I find Israel's uh, Tel Aviv University courses to be fantastic. Absolutely, there's a huge scope of research in basic science, Nagendra. And especially in these times, right? Think about, you know, uh, if all of us are wanting our scientists to come up with a vaccine, right? And, and uh, yeah, I mean, research is the only way. I will, I will share Excel. I'll send it to um, Vishnu. Doing MBA is better than MCA or BCA. Uh, so I don't think it's comparable. Uh, MBA is for mostly business skills. I would say maybe absolutely I'll share the PPT as well. I would say doing do the MBA a few year, few uh, few years later, not now. Maybe after five years of experience, try and do your MBA. Yeah. Uh, after BBA, which is better, MBA or MMS? I don't know what is MMS. I assume it is a university master's degree. I would say both are okay. We come across this question from students very often, which course is good, like accounting or finance? What answer do you give to students? Okay. I mean, accounting and finance are all similar, but yeah, maybe you can start with accounting, get into finance later. Which language is more preferable to learn? I would say, I'm assuming it's an IT question, so I would, Say Python is something that you need to pick up for sure now. Research project versus industry project. I would uh, say research now and maybe down the line when things become a little better industry projects. Online special courses for MCOM. Uh, I think uh, the Excel that I showed you should be good for you as well. I like to become a motivational speaker. So what job posts have to try? Okay, I think you should try a lot of uh, where you need to speak a lot. Yeah, especially in such sessions. How do you keep the motivation level high? How do you inspire people? Yeah, try and uh, pick up a teaching job or a sales job, which will force you to talk a lot. How should an E student be excelled to get a best placement? Uh, I would say, again, pick up these new age courses. Huh? Absolutely, I will share the Finance field or marketing, I think uh, it could be any, doesn't matter. Yeah, finance is is uh, dealing with uh, specific numbers and, 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 and quantitative stuff. Marketing is more really helping others sell and all that. So, so that's fine. HR or marketing or finance. Uh, again, depends on what you want to do. HR would get you into a lot of people related Stuff. If you are a people person, you like working with people, I think that would be fantastic. Marketing, whether you are, if you are creative, if you want to, uh, you are thinking in terms of colors, you're thinking out of uh, how do you um, attract people's attention, I think marketing is best. But if you're a quantitative person, maybe finance. Completing BCN, get jump into MBA or PG. Is there a difficulty you uh, I mean, MBA is a, so I would say after BCA, Get some experience and after a few years, do your MBA. Which course is good, MBA or ME? I think those are, both are two different things. So maybe you can pick up uh, ME for now and MBA later. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. I'm doing many non-technical things or hobbies these days. Uh, no, uh, Hare Krishna, I think perfectly fine. Um, non-technical things to keep yourself happy, but at least build a build a particular roadmap. Yeah, uh, maybe add a few technical things in your roadmap. Need not be immediate. It could be after a few months. Why MBA later? Because uh, I think you will only appreciate about MBA and the courses taught once you have experience. I would say at least minimum five years experience is, is needed to appreciate the courses in MBA. You are studying final year. Um, yeah, ideas for startup. You need to come up with your own. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's fine. And Arun Kumar working as HR is perfectly fine. I'm a BCA student. You, yeah, you should take up an MCA for now. Mechanical mm -hmm. research videos. I don't know what that means. Okay, I think we are at the top of the hour. I need to get into something else. Uh, but I think. Uh, Fantastic opportunity to talk to all of you guys, 237 people. I hope I have uh, been able to, I mean, at least uh, generate some kind of enthusiasm for you to pick up new skills, which will get you ready for the post COVID world. So all the best. And I'm available on Twitter um, and you can kind of, you know, follow me uh, on, on, on Twitter. Uh, and I, 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 um, uh, post a lot of informational uh, items there, so uh, feel free to you know, uh, connect with me. Yeah, that's my Twitter handle. Thank you so much, and I'll give it back to you, Chanakya. So thank you, sir. Uh, now before ending the session, I want to thank uh, Mahesh sir for delivering such a wonderful talk. I would also like to thank uh, Vishnu Prasad sir, uh, Karnataka head of ICT Academy. I would, I would also like to thank uh, Professor Vijay Kumar A.S., Coordinator, Department of BCA. I would also like to thank my uh, uh, fellow uh, colleagues, faculty members of our department. And I also want to thank all the participants. You know, it was because of your participation, this webinar uh, has become a success. Uh, before uh, sharing the feedback link, uh, I would like to remind you that on 23rd July, that is on Wednesday, we have another webinar on the role of IoT and big data analytics in Industry 4.0. Uh, we would like to, we would like you all to join us on uh, Wednesday as well. Uh, now the feedback link will be shared in the chat box, and certificates will be sent to your registered email. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, thank, thank you so much for the opportunity and for the students. Around 237 students have participated uh, for completely one hour. And uh, we look forward for more such uh, sessions. And you can uh, you can uh, please visit our social media pages of ICT Academy. Our yeah. website is ictacademy.in, and also our we are available in all the social media pages: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, where uh, we are posting uh, many new, new articles which we are coming out, and also new programs that we are doing. We are going to do launch one uh, Salesforce program for the students. You can please uh, visit those spaces to get all the updates and to participate for the program. Thank you, Magesh Narayan, sir, for the wonderful talk. I believe it is yet another super huge session. Looking forward for more such sessions, sir. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye Thank you, sir.
ಹಲೋ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಡಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರ